okay uh, anybody that's watched my older Chrysler videos uh, 604s 42 RLEs 62 62Ts you'd uh, hear me talk about this plate it used to come in the kits and I believe it was the Toledo kit anyhow uh, the quick coming in the kit can't get the damn thing anymore or at least I can't find it anywhere I've looked and looked and looked I even looked at the patent number um, there's no luck at all on finding these things and I only have a couple of them left I used the, had these kept these for emergencies because I they quit coming so what it does is it goes on this plate over here and it puts pressure on it so that the fluid does not blow by on this gasket right here and give you delays in low and reverse so uh, i've been looking for an alternative this will be the fourth one that i've done and you can buy this kit from sonax get it at wit or transstar i think this set came from wit and this is the sonax number this i believe is the wit number usually wit and transstar numbers are the same or they're really close to being the same so and you're going to get a, enough to do five of them and you get this little rubber seal that comes in there and this only works on the late models with the, the large feed hole so don't try to put this in a small feed hole you have to have the large and uh, you take this lip and you push it down in this hole get it down into that hole where it's nice and flat you take the gasket that used to go underneath this plate you do not use that no more it comes with this plate make sure that you do line up your uh, slot right here with the vent in the piston otherwise you're going to create other problems so make sure your vent is sitting there just line your holes up and use the regular bolts that come in the kit the 25 torques and just torque it down to what you always torque them down to and this like i said this is the fourth one i've used seems to be working good and if it'll uh, take the place of that stiffener plate and prevent the low reverse problems i'm all for that it's not a, a real common occurrence but when you get one of them that gives you that fit it's like next to impossible to get that damn thing to go away for some reason and sometimes replacing the retainer and the piston in the back will take care of it other times you got to have that damn stiffener or it just doesn't want to go away and like i said it's really rare but if this will cure that great all right see you on the next one